Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the look ahead feature in FabFilter Pro L. I'd like to demonstrate it. Uh, so first I need to distort. So I'm going to boost the gain. I'm going to hold Alt and boost the gain. Holding Alt uh, as I boost the gain, it will compensate by reducing the output. So the, the overall volume will sound the same, but uh, the dynamics will be squished. And I'm going to increase this until it starts distorting. So let's uh, give it a play. Right there's that, and that is distorting. And what's happening is, is the limiter can't keep up and it can't detect the uh, transient. Doesn't have enough time to react. Uh, so I will bring back up here. Let's listen to that again. Right, and that is distorting. That is not good. The way to combat that is to allow the limiter to look ahead. So let's see what it's saying here. Yeah, quickly response to sudden peaks in the audio signal. So let's uh, boost this. So when look ahead is at zero, it's essentially hard clipping, and that's not great. Uh, that will cause inner sample peaks and even more peaks later on. It's not desirable. So what we can do is increase the look ahead time. You notice the average RMS is remaining the same. And we've effectively cured ourselves of that distortion. It's the look ahead. It's a really fancy thing that's going on. It's seeing what transient's coming up, and then it gives it enough time to react. A lot of fancy things going on. Or maybe not. Who knows? Give me a million years, I'll never be able to make a plugin like this. But there you go. That is the, uh, the look ahead feature. So generally, when you're trying to achieve as much loudness as possible, you're going to want to uh, increase the look ahead and learn how to listen for that distortion. Anyway, hope you learned stuff. Take care and. Have a good one.